bet you they're going to stay ahead of this. And print and print and print and print and print until finally, um, you know, everything starts to go up. And I think gold, silver, Bitcoin, all of that is going to catch a major bid heading into September. And it's going to probably get take a lot of people by surprise, I think. Today for the Bitcoin price with DaVinci J15, we will be talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is right now in a make or break situation. Look at this. According to DaVinci J15, if we are breaking this level to the downside, we will see some severe, massive downwards price action here to this specific level. But also, guys, we have a price target towards the upside, which in case case we are breaking it we will see some serious serious fireworks with some crazy crazy price targets here in the immediate short term we will be talking about this make or break situation how we are planning to rule it and what specific trades we are putting in right now and not only that towards the second part of the video we want to talk with da vinci j15 the number one person to talk to yeah before an upcoming depression financial crisis whatsoever about several statistics right now showing that the situation is much 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 worse than you think and then everyone is telling you guys we will show you all of these things and tell you exactly what we are predicting here in the immediate short term for 2020 for the financial markets and the world economy you do want to sit down you do want to give this video a massive massive like towards like 3500 4000 likes whatever and right now we really want to come to the most important question of today da vinci j15 how are you doing today my man I'm doing great, man. You know what? Bitcoin's up. I'm really high right now. Hopefully it can go even higher. Don't know. But we're going to talk about that later on today. How are you doing? I'm doing very well and I'm excited about today's episode. Not only my favorite topic, the price, of course, but also the economy. This this affects every single one watching. And I, I really think this is a very important thing to do. And we didn't talk about that for two weeks or so. You are the best person to talk to about that. So I really want everyone to stick here to watch the video all the way through. We will leave some timestamps regardless, but we will start right now with the price because we are at a very important make or break situation. So yes, I'm doing very well. I am excited. Thank Thank you so much for asking maybe we can pull up the charts and see what you have to say with your magic ta all right perfect let's take a look at uh, the price charts and what we got here oops let me just delete that uh control z there we go uh so what we have here is the, a doji from the last candle last daily candle and that means indecision the market has to decide whether it wants to go up or whether it wants to go down and so this is drawn, these are basically drawing bar battle lines. We break this level here, we're going down. We break this level up here, we're going up. So wherever we break, that's where we're headed. Uh, so you could pretty much set your, if you want to short this thing, you could pretty much set your stop up here. And if you want to, to go long, you pretty much set your stop down there at uh, 420. Well, this is on the spot market. So this is like uh, 9,451. Uh, we were looking at uh, earlier on um, the what's it called the buy bit uh, market, but yeah. So if you're doing that, you have to use the charts on the buy bit, not the charts on the spot market, which is a bit stamp here. All right. So with that said, um, where are we going? Well, unfortunately, you know what? Um, I do have a long, right? Based on this Davo long here, which indicated that we're going to go higher. And uh, I'm so far underwater here, and I decided just before we started this 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 uh, this video that I would look for a reason to go short. And as you can see here, we're, after this dump, we're creating a bearish flag here formation. It's not really quite an M pattern because what's happening? Like a lot of people mistake this as an M um, that we're actually made a higher uh, higher high here so that does that negates the M which is also good but of course what could happen now is that this could um, M out overnight create an M here so what could happen is that we could draw out an M here um, right here and then not got as high and then down we go so that's what could happen in the next uh several hours overnight 
um, also. But also the good thing is, another thing that can happen is that we can go create this and turn this into a W over overnight. So it's it's still um, any man's game here, and I'm going to keep my my short my long, and I'm not going short um, because. Well, I know I got burned last last uh, I don't know five times at this level, <laughs> so but I think this time might be different. And who knows? Let's see. Maybe maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm willing to accept the consequences. I only lose five percent of my money, and so that's where I'm I'm actually going to be stopped out at the nine thousand four hundred twenty, um, and, and that's what we're doing in our group trading group at the Pandora's Wallet. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Who knows what we're going to do? Whether we're going to go, we're going to make this, make or break this. Uh, the, the odds are so far against us because if you look at the the, the, the daily uh, candle here, what's easy? What's easier to go to, down or up? I mean, right now the the downwards price target is much closer to the current price action than the upwards one. The upwards one is like three hundred fifty dollars above us, and the yeah, the lower one is only one hundred ninety dollars below us. So I would say, even though I'm a bull, I would say that um, yeah, it's uh, from, from only judging from this, it's uh, more likely to break it to the downside, right? Exactly, exactly. And yeah, and you know how I always say, um, play from a position of strength. You see how there's this big cup and handle formation that we have here, right? Um, I don't know if you switch it to like. Hang on, let me just delete that and. Uh, switch it to a day a 12 hour but it's pretty much clear on a 12 hour yeah we also have a nice one on, on, the, the on the weekly right or if you if you zoom out more out yes we have a bigger one on the, yeah so we have a cup and handle within a cup and handle yeah <laughs> so, exactly so yeah that's also the case there um so that's why i want to stick stay bullish on this because we have that cup and handle within a cup and handle and so that's that that draws out the bullish case. So I'm going to stay bullish and you know hope for the best. I also have um, other trades down here to add to this if this thing comes really close to the to this wake end, but I'll just you know psychs everybody out and goes higher. So that's also a possibility. Um, Bitcoin loves to do that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm I'm I, I'm going to uh, take the risk and see where see where it lands. Yep. Yeah. Um, first of all, Da Vinci, especially here with that indecision mode right now with the doji candle and with these two very important yeah, thresholds we have to hold, it's especially the one to the downside we have to hold, the one to the upside we of course want to break. With this indecision, I wanted to know from the audience right now, what do you think? Do you think we will break the 9,420 to the downside or will we break the approximately 10,000 US dollar level to the upside? Click the poll on top of the screen right now and let us know break out or break down and I really want to know what the market sentiment is right now. I just made a few checkups here with our last polls and actually our community was recently more right than wrong. And I mean, guys, think about that. This is amazing. You guys are geniuses because usually the majority is wrong. And for our community, the majority is right. Very well done, guys. Um, I really wanted to tell you that. And yes, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you so much for sharing all these trading opportunities with us. And yeah, I, I really want to go straight into the next topic here. Um, maybe you can stay in the face mode and I will show our lovely audience here these few few statistics before I yeah, catch up on your brain here and I really ask you your thoughts about that because guys this statistics I'm about to show you right now they are horrifying some of them might not be surprising for you some of them might ve be very new but the most important thing is in the end we will take DaVinci J15 we will consolidate that and tell you exactly what we think um, yeah after analyzing these statistics and what our projection is here for the economy because look at this the S&P 500 as reported earnings per share growth year on year and you can see minus 60 four percent and guys this is the quarterly this is completely mind-blowing it's actually the half year chart minus 64 percent this is crazy we have not seen this since 
ages, maybe since the Great Depression, who knows? I mean, this is absolutely crazy. And look at this, the S&P 500 operating profit margins. These are right now declining and directly going towards the levels we had in 2008. And guys, I can just, I can, I can, uh, I can, I can go on like this. Look at the earnings per share. We will revisit the earnings per share with DaVinci J15. They have plummeted from 35 US dollars earnings per share um, to 12.5 US dollars. I mean, this is a crazy decline and we will put that into consideration and tell you exactly why this is so horrifying. But look at this, the industrial production and guys, the Dow Jones Industrial Average actually plots the 30 biggest industrial companies. And this one is just mooning since weeks. It's, it's it's incredibly mooning and this dead cat bounce seems not to stop and seems to evolve into another bull market. But if you look at these specific statistics here, look at the industrial production. We are here minus 15% on the year on year change. And this is the exact same level we had in um, 2008, the huge financial crisis where everything just halted. And um, I mean, let, let me go on. I mean, it, it gets crazier as the time passes. Look at the retail sales year on year, minus 18% minus 18 percent this is even below the 2001 levels below the 1984 levels below the uh, yeah 2008 levels this is the worst we have seen since the great depression actually and you can see here also on the right hand side the retail sales just plummeting down finding no bottom here right now and if we are going on here, the unemployment rate, I mean, this shouldn't be coming with any surprise for you. This chart only goes back to 2001, but actually these numbers here, 14.7%, it's right now even higher, are completely unprecedented, guys. And I can already tell you every fifth person right now is un unemployed. This is absolutely crazy. And we can see a divergence between the reality, the economy and the financial markets as we have never seen it before. I mean, it really, it is, it is so bloody obvious and I cannot understand why the people still are stacking them, um, their, their currency into the stock markets because this seems to be as overvalued as it has never been before. And here, just as a quick ending point, before I go to Da Vinci J15, look at the Federal Reserve balance sheet here, the total assets me measured in billion US dollars. So the previous high was here in 2015 at 4.5 trillion. Then we had a little bit of balance sheet contraction by the Federal Reserve. But now, guys, look at the last two months. This one is going extremely parabolic pointing towards a huge huge hyperinflation yeah once this yeah the deflationary spiral here ends which would be probably very very soon and now take all these things try to keep them in mind if you forgot them skip back here two minutes and watch my rant about the economy just a second time and now let's get back to da vinci j15 and see what he has to share about that da vinci what do you think about all these statistics about the about the real data here from the economy especially in light of how the financial markets look right now and what is your projection here yeah, for the economy and for the financial markets right now. Well, as you can see, right, uh, on this line chart, here, I'm going to bring up a line chart of the, the, the S&P 500. And this is based on quarterly earnings, quarterly uh, prices. And you can see we've, we're, we're, we're moving higher for this quarter. And this is completely decoupled from, as you can see, the, um, the, uh, the uh, retail sales. And, um, you know, if People are not buying stuff in the stores. Other business, this is a knock-on effect on business after business after business. And uh, so what's, what's, what's driving this market? It's like completely devol diverged from reality. And um, if it continues this way, if, if this happens to continue, the market continues up, and we see this in September going up beyond um, reality and markets do, and, and we don't have anything going on in the economy, you know that we are in the midst of hyperinflation basically. We're, we're, just, we're just there and then everybody's probably just gonna, especially the um, people who are, have lots of debts, they're just gonna pile into the stock market too because that's where the money's gonna go to first. And then we're gonna go higher and higher and um, then eventually pay, pay the, some of the, the, not you, people, other people, Rich people will be able to pay off their debts and buy off, uh, ask, buy, get, pick up assets for next to nothing. Whilst all of us, right, they're just going to take our assets. They're going to take our our land and, and properties and our businesses. And you can see that happening um, all around the world, all around the, the world, actually, in the United States mostly. 
because uh, you know people are very vocal about that, and you can see that you know not a pe- people. It's, it's it's a sad thing that people are like losing their their, their job, their livelihoods, because their uh, government said, hey, you know what, you can't we you can't go out and work. You, you're not allowed to work anymore. And uh, and I can't believe that we've come to this, and and Americans are just accepting it. Okay, well I'll just stay home and get a check. Well, you know what? If you're gonna live off the government, they're gonna make the rules. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, this is crazy, guys. And um, I mean, I'm so happy to be talking to all of you because we will be prepared. We know what is going to come. And I, I really don't, you know, we are trading here on Bitcoin, but I don't want you guys to put all your portfolio into trading because in case you are not the best trader, you will eventually lose that. And when the time comes, you don't have your hedge, you don't have your Bitcoin. That's why I'm always saying this um, trading thing, whether it's spot trading or leverage trading, no matter what, it is only for experienced traders. And even if you are an experienced trader, you should only take a small fraction of your portfolio because this meltdown, this big explosion, this bubble burst, it is going to happen. And when it happens, you do want to make sure that you still have Bitcoin in your portfolio. Of course, it is very nice um, to trade and we are trading. You can, by the way, use these links in the description down below, but only, only if you are an experienced trader, because if you are not, you are liable to get wrecked and you are liable not to hold any Bitcoin when the time comes. And you do want to hold Bitcoin when the time comes. So make sure you set up a certain percentage you are willing to lose right where you can yeah trade with and when things go bad in case you win of course it's fine but in case you lose this was a calculated risk and you still have exactly the amount you wanted to have and you will have that only by holding so please make sure you do that and you consider all of that um, when you are going to our pin comment here you are using this links claiming the bonuses trading on bybit femax judex whatever where but only do it with a very calculated risk and if you are not, not a trader just don't do it at all hold bitcoin dollar cost average this is the best thing to do um, now, very quickly here as an ending point, Da Vinci. Um, so you said that maybe we are going into this hyperinflation um, in September in case the, the stock markets go up. And in case the stock markets go up until September, you say we will skip this deflationary period everyone is actually waiting for and we will go directly into hyperinflation. Do you think this is possible? It would be somehow unprecedented. So uh, can you maybe elaborate a little bit on that? This was the most important takeaway for me. Well, so far, the Fed has been ahead of the, um, the collapse of the market, right? They started back in September um, when they, they noticed something was wrong with the market and there was absolutely, you, you saw no price fluctuations in the market, yet they were well ahead of the curve printing money to make sure that all the businesses were bailed out and everything was running smoothly. So you know there was something wrong with the economy back then and they just went ahead of it. And I think they're going to stay ahead of this uh, market and they're not going to let it drop. They've already talked about buying stocks through an ETF. They already do it right now. Um, so yeah, you, you could you can bet your, your your top dollar. I bet you they're going to stay ahead of this and print and print and print and print and print until finally um, you know everything starts to go up. And I think gold, silver, Bitcoin, all of that is going to catch a major bid heading into September. And it's going to probably get take a lot of people by surprise. I think that's what we're going to see probably coming into the, the, the into the next the last quarter of of 2020, 2020. It's going to be an interesting ride. Yes, interesting times times are to come for sure. I want you to go quickly here on um, Twitter again because, guys, if you keep in mind what Da Vinci just said about the hyperinflation, and then we are going here to our MM Crypto channel. I wanted to show you our post from yesterday, and we said this is historical times. I shared it in yesterday's video, but look at this also in the light of what we just said. Um, Bitcoin has created its first blue dot on the stock to floor model. You don't have to be a genius to see what happened before after this event, and you can see here we have put in the first blue dot here and if you look what happened the last few times after the halving of bitcoin after the future inflation got cut in half after bitcoin's scarcity was increased you can see bitcoin was always going up but this time we have this explosive combination of infinite quantitative easing and of severe overvaluations of the market and also of the scarcity of bitcoin being uh, increased being potentially doubled when it comes to the future inflation here and if you take all of this into consideration 
situation. I think you know exactly how to prepare for that and how to secure your wealth, how to secure your purchasing power. And this is of course with Bitcoin. So thank you so much for that Da Vinci. Everyone watching, of course, we will share the trading setup in the, um, in the te Telegram group down below. If you're an experienced trader, make sure you check it out. Make your own thoughts, make your own analysis. And if you want to trade, you will find our um, pin comment here with our trusted exchanges and the bonuses. And of course, also our Telegram group is here in the pin comment down below. If you just click on more, you can find our Telegram group as well, which is completely free. So Da Vinci, thank you so much for that. And oh, I forgot to ask you about Pandora's wallet. Do you have any updates to share about that? That there's always something new. Yeah, exactly. We are back working on Ethereum. We're a little behind, right? Because we had to um, to get together our, our Telegram group and uh, build the bots and stuff like that. And make sure that everybody that was in the group that should be in the group and so forth. So there was a lot of work there. And now that that's all smoothed out, we're back on uh, on Ethereum. We're hoping to get that done by hopefully the end of this month. But you know what? Um, don't quote me on this because you know what? We're so far behind. We have to. We have to get back on track again so you know what it might take a little bit longer than that so um but everybody's enjoying themselves in the telegram group um they really appreciate the trades they've uh, everybody's making money and having a great time and so i'm really enjoying it and i and if, if you want to ask me a question directly right you can ask me on the mm cryptos telegram group as well that's absolutely free i'll get to it when i get to it but i do get to all the questions there and uh, but if you uh, want to ask a question uh, um, that, I, that I'll answer right away, you can join my Telegram group by purchasing a subscription at www.pandoraswallet.com. And I don't have to mention how big this update with Ethereum is. I know how much work it is, but once this is employed, this opens a completely new world of assets here for Pandora's wallet. So guys, make sure you take advantage of that. I can tell you his Telegram group is on fire right now. And um, yeah, it's always nice for me to pop in and read a little bit um, how the people are happy with you and everything what's going on over there. So guys, make sure you check that out. Also, it is in the pinned comment down below. Make sure you take advantage of that. Thank you so much for liking this video. Thank you so much for sticking here all the way through you are truly the biggest guys here it's very amazing to see and i really yeah realize why the majority is right on mm crypto because um yeah you guys take your time you educate yourself and um you are exactly at the right branch here which is called bitcoin especially at these crazy times so thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for subscribing to our channel subscribing to da vinci's channel watching this video all the way through and i wanted to ask you da vinci do you have anything to share before we wrap up today's episode yeah, always play from a position of strength and don't get wrecked. Do not get wrecked, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see each other very soon at the next one of MM Crypto today or tomorrow already here on our channel. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.